Well, hello. I am here with the wonderful Katie Chan Edwards, and I have a few questions for you and for you. Do you want an adventure today? Yeah. Do you want an adventure with a magical forest? Yep. Do you want an adventure with a magical forest and a bridge that crosses over enchanted waters? <laughs> yeah. Do you want the adventure to have the magical forest and the enchanted waters and the bridge and a bed of bluebells? Yep. And do you want all of that coupled with the mysterious cave of a bandit that lived 200 years ago? Yeah! Yes! Well then, I've got the adventure for you right now. <coughs> we are in deep Wales, people. Deep Wales. So we're just going to go through the uh, lucky archway <laughs> onto this glorious path, glorious, <laughs> glorious path besides the wondrous enchanted waters. It's only about an hour and 20 from Swansea, um, which is where we've come from today. The drive here is stunning, especially in summer like it is now because everything is mega green, as you can probably tell, super, super green. So pretty. I'm going in that direction. It's a little hint of what's to come later on, but for now we are following the pathway. One of my favorite things about this, which I forgot to mention, which is also a question that I need to ask you, is do you want an adventure with free parking? Yeah. So you've got your local residence. Oh yes, there's a black one. Hey, black sheep. Oh, we are coming up to the magical bridge. The magical bridge in the magical rainforest. So the rainforest is actually magical. It's a Celtic rainforest. If you've seen some of my other videos, you will know that I am a big fan of bridges you may subscribe if you'd like um, to see more bridges but here I am with a glorious bridge oh my goodness it's so lovely Can you feel the magic in the air? It's literally magical. The aim of the game today is to get to Tum Sean Catty's cave. Now, I will tell you all about him in just a little while, but in the meantime, we're almost at the end of this part of the path. My laces are undone, so I'll have to do that in a moment. The bluebells are stunning behind me. Look at that, that's all bluebells. And you have two options. You can go around clockwise or anti-clockwise. I suggest you do what we are doing today and you go in a clockwise direction. So you turn left and you follow the path around. That's another great thing about this place is that it's a, a circular adventure, like a circuit rather than like a there and back, which I always prefer. So I suggest you take the left turn, do it anti-clockwise and save the best till last. Is the choice that you are faced with. You can go down and walk alongside the river, or you can go up and go in the opposite direction. Look at all of those bluebells. Oof. to the sign it takes about 75 minutes to get all the way around and you also have signs showing you how to get to the cave 
Okay, time for some geography. So, like I said, we're in deep Wales right now. We are near Llandovery, so just south of Llynbrian, which I will be visiting soon. This particular spot is called Dinas Hill, and it's where the notorious Tom Sean Catty uh, spent his time when he was stealing basically he was a little bandit uh, on the highways at the time and he used to steal from the rich so he's known as like the Welsh Robin Hood but he forgot about the part about giving to the poor so he was just a thief really First impressions not just stunning, like it's an extra stunning, stunning. Guy was around in the 16th century and he was the illegitimate son of Sean Ap Davis, Ap Madog, Ap Howell Moitha. What a mouthful. And a lady called Catherine also known as Catty, so that's why he got the Tom Sean Catty name. I think his name was actually Thomas Jones or something very Welsh of that uh, variety. So yeah, he was an absolute bandit. He used to uh, rob the rich and then he used to come to the Dinas Hill, which is where we are now, and hide out in the cave, which we're scoping out, um, away from the highwaymen, the, uh, the police at the time. So that is why this place is notorious and that is why he himself is notorious. Pathway becomes a tad more challenging as you go around this way but as long as you've got decent footwear as per usual you will be fine. Section in the path and you have a choice to go down and see the riverside which I would go and do because it is beautiful. We're gonna come back up here later, but for now, let us make our way down. Ooh, this is fun. Oh, look at it, glorious. Whoa, are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay? Can you give a message to the viewers based on your experience? Oh, <laughs> uh, let's let's go. Let's try. <laughs> There's the slippy slidey part. <laughs> Worth it? explain to you how magical this place is you have to come see for yourself see and feel it's all about the senses Whoa. look at it oh my goodness oh my god that is stunning Oh, there's more over there. <gasps> oh, goodness me. Hey, friend. Hey. How magic is it? It's too, too magic. Oh, I love the rain as well. It's so cleansing. Look at it. just on the edge however very slippery not necessarily a good idea this is that view from the path so we're back up on the path and now we are heading in the direction of Tom Sean Catty's cave so this guy like I said was a bit of a bandit and uh, he actually got an official pardon 
from Elizabeth, Elizabeth, Elizabeth the first for something or other and uh, and then he became a justice of the peace apparently when he died he was very well respected and quite beloved in the community which is funny for a thief but hey if he turned his life around I am all on board the apples and pears He was actually a bit of a genius, I think, when it comes to uh, his hiding space. Lol. <laughs> Beautiful. We've got a little change of terrain. So the mountainside is becoming more like rocky. Currently, we have stairs, but 200 years ago, these did not exist, which means he used to scramble up this hill without the assistance of stairs which means he was probably uber fit because I did say it's Dean Ass Hill emphasis on the hill I'm already a little bit out of puff and we've only just started so he used to scramble up here he scrambled up away from those who were chasing him we are very lucky because we don't need to do that. We're almost there. So there's the cave, like what a genius, if you come a little closer I mean if you were searching for a bandit would you go up there? You wouldn't want to come up here if you were looking for the bandit, it's because it's a right scramble Made it! <laughs> oh. Are you coming? Here we are <laughs> at Tumshaw and Patty's cave. So it's a little bit of a tight squeeze when you get in and it's quite steep. I think that used to be covered, so I don't think there was any light in here originally. But the coolest thing about this, which you probably can't see yet, but you will in a moment, is all of the graffiti of the people who have visited this place and left the dates that they were here. So we're going to show you, we're going to try and find the earliest date we can find. Let's go. Starting off easy here, we've got MM NGM 2020. I'm going to need to do a little bit better than that. Katie has spotted one. A and C 2019, I think we can do better. We've got a 1999 or 1900, is that a 99? 1909. One of those, I think 1999, but... We'll see. Roger was here in 1974. Is that a three? That looks like a three. 1934 maybe. We've got a 1912. Can you see all of these? They're super cool. We've got a 2005 Vic. 2018. 2018 there. I think we can do, whoa, whoa, spider, and also crawl in right over, 1881. Katie's just found uh, 1885. So essentially, when you come here, the one you have to beat is, I think it was 1881. So let me know if you come here, and if you find one that dates back earlier than 1881. I might have another little scope out now, see what we can find. But how ingenious is uh, this man to hide away in here and he never got caught, so it must have been a pretty decent hiding space. Obviously we had the stairs to help us, he never had the stairs. Um, so yeah, he was quite a, a cunning, clever human. Just as a warning, <laughs> there are many a spider and they are quite 
sizable. <laughs> Say big spiders. This is what I mean. That fella is ginormous. Like, huge. Like he's taken over the cave. I mean, I wouldn't want to sleep in here, I gotta be honest. Too many spiders. And it's quite steep. I don't think I get a good night's sleep. <laughs> Did you not like them? <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel about giant spiders? <laughs> Maybe he was quite sizable. Back on the path, we have exited the cave. What did you think? Good. But spiders. Big spiders. I did forget to mention the spiders as part of the adventure, but what's an adventure without a bit of danger? There's danger and then there's stupidity! <laughs> danger! Danger! Have altered! So we are on our way back down now. I told you what I love about this uh, walk is that it's like a circuit walk. So you break the circuit slightly to go up the hill, up Dinas Hill, but then you come right back down to the river. I mean... Look at that. I promised you a forest full of magic. Did we see a forest full of magic? We did. I promised you bluebells everywhere. Yes. See them. I promised you a magical bridge. Yes. Several. Several magical bridges. Yes. And enchanted waters. Yes. And a cave of a notorious bandit. Yes. Along with. Along with some spiders. Spiders. <laughs> to be fair, I did promise wildlife as well. All I've really seen is like slugs. Yeah. <laughs> Huge some lots lots of birds. Huge woodpecker. So if you come here, oh yeah, sheep. If you come here, I want you to do a few things. I want you to listen for the woodpecker. I want you to try and beat our um, earlier state, which was 1880. I'm gonna double check that. I want you to comment down below and let me know what you thought of the place and if you're gonna come back. And also I want you to let me know if we can camp here. I'm not sure. So if you know that, please tell me. And yeah, remember to subscribe if you like this type of thing. Um, adventures like this, fun places to go, a little bit of inspiration. Um, and let me know what you think because I love reading your comments. They're super cool. And we're gonna carry on back around now. So I'll show you the rest of the journey. Know what we forgot? Sapisha. Sitting in this garden area, and the little birds love this like old trunk in front of us. Promised you wildlife. How do you feel? Feel 
refreshed. How do you, what do you smell? Wet summer, bluebells. Ooh. Seaweedy, mossy kind of. Freshness. Yeah. Nice. And what can you hear? Wildlife, sheep, water. It's very relaxing here. Yeah. It is tranquil. Tranquil. Oh, speaking of. What? Ooh. Oh. They're gone oh. too fast. <laughs>